Hi guys, welcome to today's session. So we're going to be carrying on with these um, facial feature studies. So, so far we've done that, the nose um, viewed sort of in three quarter and the nose in profile. And we're going to be looking at the, the mouth in three quarter today. Um, just looking at it sort of overall structures, how light will tend to fall over it. Um, and then we'll be doing um, a mouth in profile and then we'll be doing eyes um, in front and in profile. After that, um, so again, we're doing a sort of isolated look and I'm going to start just with the sort of overall sort of heights. This is the height is going to be the, the bottom of the nose and then that's going to go pretty much down. We're going to be looking at sort of the barrel, barrel of the mouth. Um, so this is going to be where you can see the chin sort of sticking out. And so that sort of overall kind of bulges forward a little bit. So obviously we're thinking about the forms, that's what primarily we're interested in. Um, and then that drops down on one side, down on another, it's sort of, we're looking, we see a bit more of the left hand side, so it's a bit bigger. And then that swoops, swoops up where we meet the cheek on one side and down on the other side. And that's the sort of overall um, proportions. and the big kind of overall forms. <laughs> so that sort of cut where the nose would be into this. So we're sort of cutting the nose shape out and we're just gonna be focusing on, on the mouth. So I'm gonna drop, slope it down a little bit more, tilt it down a bit more. Oh, need to get my eraser. So yeah, that's roughly a sort of barrel and it sort of barrels outwards everywhere. So you have to kind of think of the mouth as essentially being this kind of barrel -y bulge that sticks out um, from the face. Almost like a, it's like a muzzle on an animal um, and it's sort of pushed back with us, but it's not necessarily that different from a muzzle. Um, so within that, we then sort of drop the center of our mouth And that's going to be a sort of crease within the barrel. The barrel generally sticks out and then it sort of barrels out again. So it's going to stick back out for the top lip and then bulge out further for the bottom lip and then sort of curl back in. So you can sort of see that starting to sort of define those forms. And the side of the mouth drops down and everyone's you get a lot of variation within faces so that you know everything's not identical but essentially we're looking at in general how faces will look um, <clears throat> so if I kind of loosely shade this in maybe even before we start to look more at the overall structure you can sort of see this top lip wraps back in the lights coming from above top left so that causes this crease so the, where the mouth kind of closes in on itself. This kind of fold back in. In this direction, then it bulges back out again. And then we get another shadow underneath the bottom lip. So the bottom lip bulges out and then curls back under. Like this. But yeah, there's a lot of kind of variation within people's mouths, um, but these are just the overall forms. You've got the general barrel, and then you can kind of divide it down into two separate barrels. So you've got the top lip and the lower lip, 
This guy's top lip kind of wraps, it's very soft and it kind of almost tucks back in a lot more maybe than some people's lips stick out and they're a lot sharper. He's, he's got quite a soft lip. Then above the lips, we've got the clef, which is the philtrum it's called, which starts with a pH. Above that, so that's that little indent. I'm not going to worry too much about the um, the shadow cast down on the the lip from the nose. We're just going to be focusing on these forms. So let's kind of drop that down a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, that then that gives us our filtering. <coughs> On the whole, the left hand side is a bit darker because we're kind of lit from the left. Uh, sorry, right hand side is a bit darker, so we're lit from the left hand side. So we can sort of put a a general sort of tone wrapping around. So that that kind of gives this. So you've got a curve kind of going this way but then also a curve up and down as well. So it's sort of, it's curving in both directions, the mouth. Um, yeah, and you can sort of see where we tuck into the corner of the mouth here, we get a little bit darker. And we talk a little bit about this, the division between the lips. So at their edges, they're a bit darker, a bit sharper. center as well so that defines them a bit more nicely and a little bit darker underneath the bottom lip too I'm just going to drop this <coughs> filter and shape a bit further even maybe drop the top of them a little bit further as well We want to start capturing that little sort of piece of light. So we've got the filtrum and the, the crease between the two lips. And that sort of dips down and we get this little light shape, which is pretty widespread across most lips will have that present. Um, in some form where the filtrum is the center of the lips, the sort of where the bow kind of ties. So on the side of that, we want it to be a little bit, start to get a little bit darker as well. A little bit darker on this left-hand side. And roll it sort of softly up. where the lips sort of rising up to make the cheeks, it's a little bit more of a, an indent there. As I say, definitely underneath that bottom lip, we go a bit darker.
just darkening that left hand, that right hand edge again of the lip. So I'm fairly happy with how all these these sort of forms are sitting now. So I just want to go back in and redefine. How we've isolated the, the mouth here. Before going in and doing a sort of final render over everything. Because from this point onwards, we've sort of established the forms. I've spoken to you about how the forms work. And they're pretty simple. Probably, I guess, everything always seems simpler than everything else when you're actually thinking about it and working on it. But possibly simpler than the nose forms in that primarily we've just got this barrel kind of going from curving in this direction. And then another kind of transverse barrel going across the face like that. So we've got, you know, if I, if I draw a little diagram of it out, we curve that way. And then we're also curving sort of slightly that way. So that's sort of the curve of the mouth as we look at it here. And you can look at mouths and they could curve down a lot more. And when we look at it in profile, it'll be kind of curving sort of just from the side. So um, yeah, you just want to think about, you want to give it some bold, some body is really the important thing. So from here, let's start to and render it, kind of develop these tones a little bit. We want to get it to a similar level as the, the noses. And to be fair, it doesn't look too bad at this current stage. Probably actually came together a little bit quicker than the noses, I think. Start by going in and making the corners of the mouth even darker and even sharper on their bottom edge and then softer on their top edge. So we're increasing increasing the the edge variety. So the sense that the one sorry this form is a lot softer than the other. So that's the top edge as it rolls up into the top lip is much softer than this bottom edge, which is quite sharp.
sharpening the pencil a little bit. So we're gonna go a little bit darker again on this side of the mouth because we want that filtrum to really pop. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty good, this. Okay, a little bit darker with some of these tones around the mouth as it falls into the, the crease. A little bit darker down here as well. And then let's do some very light passes of tone over the whole thing, getting a bit darker as it goes. More to the right, and then we want to erase some highlights out, maybe a touch darker just in the bottom lip as well. Because we really want that to kind of feel shiny. That's pretty good. And then up here we can go kind of back to white top part of that lip.
Yeah, and that's looking pretty good, I reckon, for this mouth. Covered most of the major forms, talked a bit about the structure. Um, as I say, we'll be looking at the mouth in profile next time, but um, yeah, that's going to do it for, for looking at the mouth in three quarter, pretty much in the front. It's a little bit more interesting looking at it in three quarter. Things tend to be a bit simpler from front on. They tend to be more symmetrical, so I just I like to cover things from slightly more awkward angle, which you probably will often encounter and maybe struggle with a bit. So yeah, um, that's it for, for this session. As always, you can um, follow us on YouTube, just um, subscribe to the channel um, to get videos from myself and other tutors. Um, and you can also uh, click the link through if you want to see the sorts of paid qualifications that we offer too. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot guys, and I'll see you soon.